Namaste Boobies, my name is Illy B and welcome to the Beehive as we are doing the daily vibes for the Collect Hive. Again, my name is Illy B and welcome to this beautiful sacred space as we are about to dive into the messages for November 20th, but whenever you are tuning in is divinely placed for you. Whenever you tune in, whether it's a few days, a few weeks, a few months, is divinely placed. I would like to wish you guys a happy birthday to whoever's birthday it is today. Happy trip around the sun, and I'm hopeful your day is filled with magical blessings as you are so deserving and worthy of feeling those blessings as well. So, before we hop into the messages, I would like to start off these messages with a guided meditation to help us ground and to take our day with ease and with joy. So, please join me on your seats with your shoulders pulled back and your chin slightly tucked in and with your heart, hands in your heart. Tuning into your breath with its natural rhythm as it becomes one with all life. As your breath is part of the harmonious symphony of Mother Earth into all creation beyond this realm. Breathing in this oneness and breathing out your own unique essence so they can be heard, felt. Breathing in again and out. You feel a part of this web of life. You feel the vastness, but still in your own essence of what you bring to the table. Breathing in this love and breathing out your love from your heart, extending this to those that need it. And as you feel the love and let it be placed to where it needs to be placed. Taking a moment to feel this love and notice where it resides in your body. Where in your body does it feel any discomfort now? As you breathe in this loving light straight to that part of your body. And as you hold it, you let it multiply this loving energy. And as you breathe out, letting it go. Allowing your heart to open and expand. We move our energetic, actually, our our roots from our hearts, these veins, as you pull this veins out from your heart and as it flows out into the waters, letting this water be filled with love as you feel one with these waters, as Mother Earth is presence everywhere as we connect with the emotional waters of these waters they are a reflection of yours and take a moment to feel the transformation of this water take place within your vibration allowing to move these waters through your body anchoring yourself into these waters and into the sand as your emotional roots are being strengthened and healed and allowing emotional intelligence emotional ease to take place
thanking the ocean and the spirits who reside here and Mother Earth for allowing us to anchor in that love. Making our way back into our heart centers, back into our rooms, and back into our bodies. And allow yourselves to move, taking a big deep breath in and out, making your way into your body and into your space. Namaste and welcome back. I'm hopeful that it was everything that you needed and more. Different from the meditations that we typically do, I'm always divinely guided by Mother Earth on how to connect with her uh, as to take on the day or evening or whenever you're tuning in. So we're going to start off today with meditation for people who do too much. So today's November 20th, appreciation. You must not think that I feel in spite of it having ended in such a defeat, that my life has been wasted here or that I would exchange it with anyone I know. One of the most important aspects of our lives is that they are our lives. No one else can live them exactly the way we are living them. Everything that happens in our lives is an opportunity for learning those moments of frustrations often turn into moments of joy and creativity. What an extraordinary experience to look back and truly feel that we can celebrate our lives and all of them. Returning to our spiritual selves provides a path to appreciation. I have the opportunity to walk the path of appreciation today. It is not possible that my life has been wasted. Defeat is not a waste unless I turn it into waste. And that is the tea for the day. Appreciation and knowing that any lessons, any time that you spend on a lesson is not a waste. Even if you repeat it multiple times, it is not a waste unless you call it a waste. You are powerful creators. If you say it's waste, it will turn into waste. Appreciate every little lesson and take your day with appreciation and bring that essence into your everyday life. Very beautiful. All right, moving forward to Yoga 365. Ooh, what is going on here? Okay. Calming anxiety. What happens to you when you become anxious? Try to remember a moment of great anxiety in your life and recall that experience with was like. Some common physical symptoms are a racing heart, sweating, and or feeling faint or developing a headache or backache. Some people have difficulty speaking. The common thread is how our emotional or mental state affects our physical being. When we can read our physical symptoms, we can address the anxiety when it arises. We can deepen our breaths, shifts, or stretch our bodies, or drink a glass of water. Reminding ourselves that this particular experience will pass. In this way, we can often calm the symptoms of anxiety and, and quiet our hearts. That is also very, I'm gonna bookmark that. Um, so that's awesome. No, noticing the patterns when anxiety does come in and how it manifests into your physical body. Because when you start to notice the beginning stages or symptoms start to form, you're able to recognize it, bring awareness and take the steps necessary for you to, you know, handle that anxiety as well. Just how it says to stretch, drink water, and to deepen our breaths, right? Coming back to our hearts and so on and so forth. Drinking water is very important. Like today when we were tapping into the emotional waters of ourselves, um, it's very important as well. And water can is, not can, it is very healing. So water on a 
um, looked close up into a microscope and a microscopic level holds vibration it holds memory so when you speak into your water speak affirmations of what it can do for you whether you're trying to manifest abundance manifest a specific job or you're just trying to calm your body of anxiety speak affirmations to your water there was a scientist that actually did an experiment where he looked at two separate different waters one that was fed positive affirmations and one that was fed negative and under a microscope the one that was fed love looked so beautiful like um a snowflake under you know a microscope and the other one that was distorted looked distorted yeah just look distorted um so i'll definitely post a link on more about water consciousness you could also look it up yourself as well and that's the science that backs it up as well as our own cells right and how we're made up of what 70 percent water so speaking those affirmations to yourself can make a difference how you speak to yourself how you think about yourself as well and what you let others speak about you you know you want to surround yourself with people that uplift you opposed to bringing you down so with that being said boobies go ahead and take this practice with you today and if you do have any anxiety that comes up you know to really be mindful of what those symptoms are and how it manifests into your physical body. I'm hopeful these passages help today. I'm hopeful you have a beautiful and blessed day, evening, or whenever you're tuning in. So I'm sending you lots of love, hugs and kisses. I send you love. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? Do you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? Do you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? Okay. All right. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.